The district attorney's decision was posted online before she met with the victim's family. As our Sam Kramer reports, the family attorney says that's just adding more pain to their situation. It's horrifying. As the family of Deshante King and District Attorney Trisha Hansen met inside the Racine County Courthouse Tuesday, news of her decision had already spread, a decision the King family disagrees with. What it shows is that Officer Brennan decided to stop Mr. King by shooting him and you simply can't do that under the law. The report was taken down and republished hours later, including a snippet of Officer Zachary Brenner's body camera video. Police say he tried pulling King over on a warrant for carrying a gun as a convicted felon. The video starts as King runs away. Stop! You're gonna get shot! You're gonna get shot! Get on the ground! But King keeps going, jumping over the fence and running through this field. He then appears to drop the gun, and when King lunges toward it, Brenner opens fire. Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. I'm right over here. Tenth and center, he just reached for a 32. Are you okay? Despite officers providing CPR, King died at the hospital. Police Chief Maurice Robinson offered this opinion on his officer's actions. He did as he was trained to do. He, was, he gave plenty of commands and opportunities and warnings and waited to see what would happen as long as he could. In her report, Hansen agrees, running Brenner's use of his firearm was reasonable and necessary given King had a gun and posed an imminent threat. Still, the King family feels her decision was rushed as it doesn't include a final autopsy report. How do you intend to prove a death if you don't even have a cause of death uh, to review. Attorney William Selton says it's his belief that Brenner's third shot is what killed King. By getting that autopsy report, he believes that would prove there was no justification for that shot. Reporting in Racine, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. So what happens now? Officer Brenner will now be placed on administrative light duty while the police department conducts its own review of his actions. He'll be welcomed back to the department. Their review will determine whether he followed department policies.